This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. <laughs> Jet didn't sponsor this video, Jet didn't send me this guitar. I've done a couple of videos for, for Jet in the past which were not sponsored but they kind of sent the guitars and loaned them to me for, for the videos. The story with this one is essentially that I went into local music shop Project Music with my buddy Jake Loosemore. Awesome. Jake knows it. We was going in to try a very expensive guitar, two expensive guitars, two Sir guitars and um, out of the box, kind of both of those had some fret buzz and one of them basically was playing like a sitar out of the box. Um, so I wasn't very impressed with that. And then he picked up this, um, the Shell Pink Jet Telly, and liked it enough to walk out of the shop for it. Now, this is like a £160 guitar. Now, why I think I wanted to talk about this was because I recently was doing some paid demo work for a company Essentially, it was a, a beginner style guitar, like, you know, one of these things where it's like a, a guitar in a box with an amp, a, a, like a beginner starter pack. And I'd kind of done a video with it and 
I tried to be as fair as I could. When I, you know, sent them a draft of the video to, to approve, they said, well, we don't really think you're fair on the guitar. Could you maybe edit the video to show it in a fairer light? And that's not really something that I felt comfortable doing. So we're not going to be doing that. <laughs> um, and the, the point really for me was that there's got to be, for me, I think, like a baseline of a guitar that is actually good enough to, I think, get people onto a stage. So Jake has actually gigged this thing, which if you have traced some of the other bits of gear that Jake has has um, let me borrow for this channel, you'll know that that's kind of against the grain in, in quite a big way. But it, it was important to me, I think, obviously, you know, a paid demo is never going to be as transparent and as honest or you know there's different incentives but it's still I don't think it makes sense to literally just lie to you in in front of a camera so decided to cease that collaboration <laughs> um, and instead highlight things it, that I felt like actually um, deserve maybe a bit more attention um, so the, the Jet Guitar 22 fret telly you've probably seen a bunch of other videos the one area where they've kind of cheaped out a bit so you'll see for a telly unusually it doesn't have the string through body thing so no ferrules and as such it's kind of like a top mounted um, bridge here aside from that though the, the tuners feel pretty good quality the nut is not actually super high it's quite well cut the body is a little bit on the heavier side however I'm kind of willing to, to look past that given that American fenders these days tend to be quite heavy uh, you know if it's like eight pounds or so that's not unusual for uh, a, an American fender um, frets tidy um, and I, so I guess this is the, the point that, that it was for me that and I guess I saw Captain Anderson talking about this a little bit as well I haven't actually read it but I think he said if you want to make a guitar twice as good spend five pound more on it in manufacture so these guitars like if the real kind of bottom rate for you to go and grab a guitar is like £99 and it will look like a guitar, it will have the parts that a guitar has, it might not be very comfortable, even at the £99 range those things are pretty kind of fine-ish, like they're playable, they're a little bit depressing. However, if you start to ramp that money up, what I found is that you very quickly get a much, much, much better guitar, uh, like just... You know, a hundred and fifty pounds, maybe five, seven times better guitar than I could get for that ninety-nine pounds, and that kind of ramps up quite quickly. I think around five hundred pound, I think is where it starts to kind of taper off a bit, right? And beyond five hundred pounds, like guitars in that range generally tend to be just all pretty good, right? Um, I'm reminded of the PRS uh, C24 Satin. For £500 which I was really impressed with took that gigged it great guitar um, and, and similarly this thing you know £160 guitar plays well sounds good has two pickups in there you've got this um, quite subtle kind of um, baked maple I can't really fault it too much the intonation on this bridge is a little bit shoddy when you get higher up the neck but it is a three compensated isn't it but that could require some attention a little bit heavy but in general I'd be happy you know to say to a, a parent or someone like that you know if you've got a kid who's a, a beginner try a couple of jet guitars because I'm sure their QC isn't perfect but if they're churning out you know 50% of the guitars that are good as, as good as this then it's a pretty safe bet I'd suggest so I don't know, let me know your experience with Jet Guitars in the comments if you've got them. I just wanted to highlight that because I felt like, you know, I could be paid to talk about some guitar which actually I'm not impressed with or show you something I genuinely am impressed with. <laughs>
So as I send intonation. Flat up here on the A. Right, it's actually just really fun. And that, I think, is what even a cheap guitar should do, I think. And that's what I want to try and try and highlight more. Um, you know, because even for a beginner, I think it's important that the, the piece of gear does inspire them. And if, as someone who's played guitar for 30 years, I can't you know, I, I want to put the guitar down and not really play it anymore, then I'm sure that that feeling is not going to be that dissimilar to a beginner guitarist. And maybe these really low-end cheap guitars are part of the reason that, you know, a lot of people maybe drop out of playing guitar when they're younger. But this sort of thing, um, as I say, Jake has got really expensive taste. Uh, I've obviously got a range of tastes, you know, things like Sire guitars, I, I really highly recommend as well. This is even cheaper than the size, like half the price. Uh, I think there is something to be said about kind of probably cheap Chinese labor and that sort of stuff. And so there are some other ethical considerations that you might want to be making with this sort of thing. But, you know, even anything under 500 pounds and, and under 1,000 pounds these days is probably going to be made in these Far Eastern places. So I don't know that you necessarily are making better ethical choices by spending more money in those areas. Uh, who knows? I don't know. That's a bit of a complex topic to talk about anyway. But I wanted to, to share that. Let other folks know your experiences with jet guitars. If they've been rubbish, let me know. I've seen some. There's a shop called Traeger Mills uh, up close, which had some way worse QC on them than this. As I say, if it's like 50-50 with a jet guitar, then I think you've got pretty good odds. Um, I don't know exactly what that's going to shake out like, but in the comments, hopefully folks will help you there. Thank you for stopping by and cheers.